Hello, it's time for another episode of It's Not About You. We've been wandering through scripture, taking a look at scriptures, applying them to our lives, uh, um, talking about selflessness and becoming selfless. My name is Bob Benson. I pastor Christ Lutheran Church, and uh, we've been really digging into this. I want to read a section of scripture for you this morning. It's 2 Timothy 3, uh, and I'm just going to read verses 1 through 5. But understand this, in the last days there will come times of difficulty, for people will be lovers of self, lovers of money, proud, arrogant, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy, heartless, unappeasable, slanderers without self-control, brutal, not loving good, treacherous, reckless, swollen with conceit, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. Having the appearance of godliness, but denying its power, avoid such people. We we see selflessness disappearing in our world today. We see people becoming more and more selfish, and that's not what Christians are called to do. We're supposed to surrender our lives to Jesus Christ and let him lead our lives. We're supposed to care more about others than we care about ourselves, and we see that disappearing in our world today. Um, Having an appearance of godliness, but denying its power. It's dunamos. The word, the word there is the same word that we get dynamite from. And uh, I, I think that we see that. And we even see that within our churches. Does God still have the power to save and to change lives today? He does. Uh, do we rely on that power? Is that power important to us? Um, do we carry that power inside of us? in the form of the Holy Spirit. So I, I would encourage you, as, as you see the world changing around us, where does light shine the brightest? In the darkest places. And our world's getting pretty dark. So it means we've got to hold up the light. We've got to be a light to others. And it's not about you. It's about bringing honor and glory to Jesus Christ. So for It's Not About You, my name's Pastor Bob Benson. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today.